Finally, another video with Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Optimus Prime has been sitting still most of the day yesterday. Uh, it's not the worst uh, condition, but anyway, we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you now how it looks like when we start driving the car, and it's not preheated at all, and it also ha hasn't been plugged in yesterday. So yes, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, the windscreen looks like this. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you can... Uh, okay, we had to defrost it, but look here! Oh, we have no region! <gasps> oh shit, so this, this dot line means that we have no region because... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, because the battery pack is so cold, so um, we're gonna fire it up now. I have restarted the, um, the trip A here, okay, so we can see how much we consume. So we probably want to just put this on auto or something, alright, let's see. Um, uh, let's let's do this. Hi. Okay. We have to de defrost the front windscreen first. So this is real time, no editing out stuff. Uh, let's see how fast it defrosts uh, the front windscreen. The temperature outside is minus three degrees Celsius. So we have this is not legal right now. We have to get rid of uh, that stuff, and I'm too lazy to uh, go out and. Um, and scrape the windows, yeah, because uh, let me check something. How it doesn't mess here. Oh, okay, okay. All right, this is like watching paint dry. But I heard someone say they would love to do that with Tesla Bjorn. Oh, yeah, uh, by the way, let me show you here. So, uh, driving range mode is off because you want to have the maximum power yeah while you do that oh uh, wow, wow okay that that was quick only after uh, a minute or so we are already getting some region wow so that's six kilowatt of battery heater uh, warming up the battery pack so we get some region and uh, are we getting are we seeing some uh, defrosting here mm, no no habla Taking too long. See, this is why you want to um, you want to preheat your car before. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. How much am I? Okay, this is getting legal soon. Yeah, I use the wipers to help it a bit. All right. Yeah, but this is still not legal. You have to either scrape it or wait a bit more. So I'm gonna wait a bit more. Let's see. That's uh, five. Uh, that's uh, fifteen ninety. Okay, uh, be prepared. Okay, we waited about one more minute, and uh, now we are clear to take off. Yes. All right. Let's see. Put it in drive, and then let's roll. So, um, wow, there's so many cars here. Uh, I have to... Can I even get past here? She, what are they doing? I cannot get past here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We have limited region. So if you accelerate a bit and then try to let off, it won't break as much as it did before. Now we are at the uh, Fortum fast charger, 50 kilowatt DC. I use a channel adapter. We only drove 10 minutes or, uh, you see, how was it? Two and a half kilometers to get there. And this is how it looks like. Okay, let me, let me switch to um, uh, settings, energy. Okay, so let me explain the numbers here. Um, you see the trip meter here. 10 minutes, two and a half kilometers, that's like one and a half miles or something. Uh, freaking high consumption, of course. And look here, we are only receiving 16 kilowatt. At this state of charge, we should have been getting close to 120 amps here and uh, like at least 45, 46 kilowatt. So the reason why we are getting so low power is because the battery pack is cold. Yeah, so I guess if you wait a little bit, then the, sh the speed should go up. Let's see now. So the time is 15.28. Let's wait a bit and see what happens.
after five minutes uh, the charging speed went up slightly uh, but we are still not receiving the full potential which is about 45 kilowatt so see charging speed goes up very slowly so it will always be faster if you just drive off and uh, charge later so uh, we're gonna drive now and uh, try again uh, later when uh, the battery pack is warmer okay I can see now that the region is stronger yeah it's getting better and better as we uh, increase the temperature in the battery pack oh yeah all pilot for the win <laughs> Yeah, so we have some congestion here, so all the pilot is just doing the driving for me. Yeah. Okay, we are downtown. Yes, alright. Ah, there's no <laughs> So, precious cargo dropped off. That is the, the most valuable Nimber task. Yeah. So, um, we are in the bookstore again. So now I'm finally free, yes! So you know, pro tip to you, Tesla will save the location of the place you plug in, if it's like a random place you plug in. So whatever you do, if you go to your mistress, don't plug in at your mistress. Yeah, the only way to remove that uh, location is to reset the whole MCU and that will look very suspicious, yeah. But anyway, back to something more important. You see here, we still have region limit and we have been driving for 31 minutes, which is kind of far. I mean, it's long, but it's not very far because we're doing city traffic with congestion and you know, uh, stoplights and everything. So um, yes, uh, now I'm gonna go to uh, another Fortnum charger in uh, Skyen, which is 3.3 uh, yeah, kilometers from here. So I'm going to go there and I'll plug it in and see what kind of speed we get. We are now in uh, Skøyen. This is uh, another Fortum charge and drive uh, charging location. It's freaking full house here. I've never seen it before. But uh, it's just a little over 4 in the afternoon and it's already getting dark. So this is the Nordic winter. Yeah, it's going to be long and dark. But anyway, I have According to the display, I have full region now. So, um, but that doesn't mean I get full speed. So let me see, do we get full speed? No, we don't. Uh, but it is, at least it's faster than before. It was 20 something, 25, 22, 25. Now we're getting 34, but it's still not maximum. The maximum is, as I mentioned, about 45, 48. At this day of charge so uh, see this shows you that uh, even if you've been driving for about an hour in city that is not enough of course if you draw one hour in like motorway speeds where the power output is higher then uh, we will uh, most likely get better speed but you know also this is just low power compared to supercharger so again if you want full full supercharger speed um, one thing that could have improved the situation is you could have uh, preheated the car about half an hour before and then you would start with a higher temperature in the battery pack and then as you start driving you will also build up more heat because you need uh, if I remember correctly you need like 35 degrees Celsius in here I cannot see the battery temperature uh, but I'm guessing it's around maybe 20 degrees only yeah and also see here We've been driving in city, and since we started driving, average is freaking high, 322. That's almost as high as uh, during summer when I um, when I pulled my trailer. So um, you have to expect high energy usage in winter when you have short trips, some start and stop. You know, the car cools down, and then you have to heat it up again. Yeah. So don't be surprised to see very high numbers here in winter. Yeah.
I've been charging here for 11 minutes and finally you see over 100 amps. It's slowly crawling up. Uh, let me switch again to energy. <clears throat> so yeah, 41 kilowatt, slowly getting up there, but you see it takes a while. It doesn't just go up just like that. So um, I think the best way for you to uh, get the fastest speed is to drive your car like you stole it for about half an hour <laughs> and then you're good. All right, so that's it. The video about uh, winter driving and region and supercharger speed. So I hope this was useful for you. Uh, it might have answered some of your questions. You're like, hmm, why the heck does this happen? Why the heck do I get slow speed? Why do I consume so much? Yeah. All right, so that's it for now then. So talk to you later.